All right, guys, we're back here with another custom setup for the Dirt Lake models at Knoxville, Iowa. Uh, I'm going to run a lap here and let you all see how I've done it, and then we'll go over the setup. All right, guys, before we get started, I just want to let you know that entering the corners at Knoxville, Iowa, you're going to have to get used to coming off the bottom, driven to the, drifting to the outside wall, entering the corner, but never lifting and staying right on that cushion. And you can kind of feel the car grab, you know, into the corner. And you've got to turn down across the corner and come off somewhat towards the bottom. But you can feel the traction if you're using a wheel coming down across the bottom. And then you drift all the way back out to the outside wall, entering the next corner and do the same thing again. You enter high, you can feel it grip, uh, like especially three and four, it kind of like it drifts for just a second and then you can feel it catch. And then as soon as it starts catching, you got to start turning it down the hill to get off, not necessarily directly to the bottom, but you got to get down the hill uh, instead of trying to stay out wide with it. Cause if you stay outside wide with this setup, you'll never hit it. So you got to get in high and then kind of, once you feel the traction, start turning down across the corner. But I just want to put that out there. Anyways, the setup that I'm using for Knoxville, Iowa, uh, is a 70 degree camber angle on the left front. The spring weight's a, weight. <laughs> the spring weight is a 330. Uh, shock bumps at a 4.5. The shock rebounds a 4.5. The tire pressure is a 1050. On the left rear, I'm using a 300 pound spring. The shock bump is a 4.5. The shock rebound is a 4.5. And the tire pressure is at 10. The right front, the camber angle is a negative point negative 7.5 degrees spring rates at 430 shock bumps at 4.0 the shock rebounds at 4.0 and the tire pressure is at 11. Uh, the spring rate is at 360 shock bump is at a 4.0 on the right rear the shock rebound is a 4.0 on the right rear tire pressure is at 12 and the tire staggers at four inches on the right rear the front brake bias is at 40 percent which i don't ever use a brake so it don't matter 54.5 uh, on the left side weight, 55 on the rear weight. The rod height is a negative two inch. Uh, chassis J-bar height is a 1950. Axle J-bar height is a 15. Uh, rod height's at negative two inches on the rear. The rear weight is at 56. Wheel lock is always at 30. No steering offset. Tire compound is soft. And the rear end ratio is a 480. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I'll put more up here for you to check out if you'd like to. Also, if you enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing to my channel, guys. It helps out tremendously. And smash that like button. It helps out more than anything. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next video.